So I'm going to go to crude oil here for a moment, which we obviously track very closely. This is a five-week low where the price is or thereabouts. Harvey has shuttered even more refineries. We're getting word throughout the day today about that. And the issue is we're going to have even more oil than when we already have a larger supply since uh, not as much can be refined into gasoline. And as we look at these refineries, the ones that are closed in along the Gulf, this is a list that we've been adding through uh, throughout the day. Obviously, many in and around Houston had been closed. And then as we move to the east and we get in the, into the Beaumont and Port Arthur area, there are more of the refineries closing. We heard from Exxon today doing so. We heard actually about the largest refinery in the country, which is in Port Arthur, owned by a Saudi company, Motiva Enterprises. They cut production by at least 40%. So that's kind of the impact it's having. We have OptionSellers.com founder James Cordier uh, with us right now. James, good to see you. In it's um, you know it's worse it's getting. I know just over in Beaumont and Port Arthur, which is the next kind of wave of this. That's like eight and a half percent of refining capacity. So what do you make of all this before all said and done? Connell, it's going to be very interesting over the next week or two to see just what type of. Uh, utilization levels that we actually reach to think that we're going to probably be uh, refining 30 or 40 percent less oil over the next uh, two or three weeks uh, I think is quite uh, understandable and what that's going to do to gas prices here is going to be very interesting uh, as we get ready for uh, Labor Day driving well, that's uh, in just a few days. Um, you know, to, to get these refineries offline is one thing. To get them back on is another. I guess it takes a week or so. So what type of in increase would you anticipate in prices at the pump? It's really interesting. We don't have uh, any shortage of oil whatsoever. Right. As a matter of fact, like you mentioned, oil prices have been trickling down, uh, getting ready for uh, what possibly might be an oil glut later this year. But gasoline prices are easily going to be up uh, 20 to 30 cents probably in the next day or two. And as we get into uh, Labor Day weekend, we're probably going to be looking at a 30 to 40 cent increase in gasoline prices without a doubt. Wow. I, I, would, start, I would start getting ready now. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the only good news in that is that as quick as they go up, sometimes they come back down, I guess, if it's a temporary situation, right? But uh, still, it's a pretty good increase. We, we think the uh, increase is going to be very temporary. Yeah. I would imagine, uh, I would say probably the middle of September as October rolls around, we're going to see this entire increase in gasoline prices probably give up. And we're going to see probably October, November gasoline uh, 199 again. So okay. this is probably going to be temporary and we see a, a large supply of oil helping prices come back down after uh, the storm uh, rather is over. All right.